guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. This is your girl Andy with Mukbangs and Hangs. How are you guys doing? Today I've got a very special mukbang for you guys. We are doing a ask game and I'll explain what that is in a little bit, but I wanted to tell you guys that we've got Popeyes. I haven't done Popeyes, I think it was like five months ago or so, so today we're gonna have a feast with us. Let me just pull everything out. I got the flounder, their fish fillet sandwich, sandwich, and some fries. Or if I can pull them all out without spilling them everywhere. I'm gonna have to set these aside in a bit. And I also got some mac and cheese because I saw my friend Ramseth Mukbangs. He was doing an epic mukbang of mac and cheese. And I'm like, no, nah, I gotta have some. I gotta have some. So here we are. Mmm. Pull this out so we can see it. Feels heavy. Ooh, no. Look at this. Big, big fish fillet from Popeyes. I love it. And it's got like the, what do you call this? The Worcestershire sauce, whatever. It smells good. I'm so excited to eat this, guys. Let me get my ketchup situation going on. So, this ass game, I actually, an ass game is like, can deal with about anything pertaining to a band, uh, any fandom, TV shows, and it's just like questions about what your favorite things are, maybe some things that you would like to ask certain people. And so I had stumbled upon a ghost one on Instagram, and I was like, hey, this would be kind of fun to put into a video. So that's what I'm gonna do. There was a lot of questions, so I'm gonna split this video up into two parts. Let me show you this mac and cheese. Oh, this is baked. This is, look at this, golden yellowy goodness. Amazing. And before I forget again, let me take a thumbnail. It's the old cheese. Okay. Let me get into this first bite because this thing is like ginormous and it's leaking everywhere, so. Here we go, guys. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Very fishy upon first bite, but not in a bad way at all. Mmm, that sauce is so good. I got the regular kind of uh, filet, but it's a little bit spicy. Oh, and it's fresh and hot too. Mmm. Definitely way better than the McDonald's fish filet. No bueno. So let me get into these questions because we do have quite a few. So the first question It says, you have a chance to interview Tobias Forge. What three questions would you ask him? Okay, I've thought about this and I'm not gonna be one of those people. My questions probably are dumb, but it's like, I've heard a lot of interviews already. I've read a lot of things. I wanna just ask my questions. Um, one of the things I would ask him is who his favorite Star Wars character is because I know some stuff came out that he is a fan and I love Star Wars. So I'm really curious to see like where his allegiance lies, you know? Um, I would also ask him, is there another TV show, movie, some kind of franchise that he would love to make music for? Kind of like uh, he did with Halloween Kills and Hunter's Moon. What other fandoms or things he really likes would he love to be a part of? Any universe. And the third question, I've been wanting to know this for a while, like from really anybody. And it may be dumb, but I'm really curious about tour routine as far as eating and working out because I feel like you cannot be eating like 
bad all the time, can be getting trashed all the time, and you're expected to perform and deliver, right? So I just want to know, what's the routine? Do you guys have time to, like, work out if you work out? Like, I just want to know the deets, you know? But those would be the three questions I would ask him. Let's try this mac and cheese. Ooh, boy. So, hear that? Yeah, buddy. Let's see if I can get a cheese pool. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It's not bad. It's really good. Oh, man, this is just... Mmm. <laughs> it's a spot, man. Mm. This is so good, you guys. Next question. What's your dream concert set list from Ghost? Um, There's just too many songs to list that I like. I think the most current set list I'm pretty satisfied with. So I just put songs that I would add. I'm going to add like everything from Impera because it's an amazing album. Conclave is one of my favorites to listen to live. Majesty, See the Light, Body and Blood, and It's a Sin. That would be so fun to listen to. I really like that cover. Um, I dream of the day where ghosts can completely headline and they can do like those two hour shows that they used to do. Thursday. What is your dream ghost lineup? And you can mix Papa's and Ghoul's. Um, again, pretty simple. I'm really satisfied with the current lineup of Ghoul's. I don't think uh, I would change anything. I would maybe try to see like two Papas like trading lines and stuff on stage. That'd be pretty fun. Um, Papa two, Papa three, and maybe Papa four, just kind of like playing off each other, like real theatric like. is falling apart. Hmm. Okay. Number four. That was crooked. Number four. Name your favorite and least favorite song off of every album. Okay. Um, so from Opus, my favorite song is going to be Conclave. And my least favorite is Genesis. It's just like uh, instrumental is just kind of like meh for me. Infestissima, Year Zero is my favorite with <laughs> Infestissima being on the lower end of that. Meliora, I love Square Hammer. Uh, I know Square Hammer was originally on like Pope Star, but in the deluxe, deluxe, deluxe Meliora album, it's there with Spokesonaut being my least favorite. On um, Prickel, I love Faith, and if I had to pick a bottom song, it'd probably be Pro Memoria. And Impera, as you all know, I've been back and forth with all my songs because I love it so much. But Call Me Little Sunshine is still one of my favorite songs off the album. With Dominion being, I feel, like the weaker track. Like, I don't really listen to that one at all. And this thing stuck. Mmm. A sucker for some good mac and cheese. Mm. Number five, have you got any unpopular ghost opinions? Share one. Um, I don't think it, I have anything controversial or really unpopular. I've said before that Zombie Queen is an overrated song. Like, I can't get into it that much. I'll listen to it, but it's not like my favorite thing in the world. But some people are like, really gunning for that song and I'm like nah fam it's not for me and I think the era five nameless ghouls and ghoulettes are way better musicians individually and as a group not to say that you know we have a soft spot for Omega or some other type of other ghouls but 
I just think they're the best bunch that Tobias has ever worked with. Like these are really stellar musicians and from what their online presence is, they're really great humans and I really love them. I don't even know if that's really an unpopular opinion or not. Maybe to some people. Okay, number six. Is there an artist that I would want Ghost to collaborate with? I took this in kind of two different ways. Um, art, like artist-wise, like I've seen a lot of fan art out there. It'd be interesting to see a collaboration of Ghost imagery in the in the mind of Boris Vallejo. He does a lot of fantasy uh, artwork. I really love his pieces, and I know there's not too many like he does like a lot of animals and creatures. And there's not too much of that in the ghost uh, universe, but I would just love to see his interpretation of the world that Tobias has built. <laughs> and as far as musicians go, I would like to hear Maria Brink on a track from In This Moment. I think she would gel quite well. And I really love her. And she's all about that mysticism, witchy vibe. I think it, she would fit. Whoa, check it out. Ah, uh, some cheese. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Mmm. Okay. Number seven. Would you like to see the previous Papa's return? And if yes, in what way? So, I would love to see some quality chapter content about Papa 3 because he's bae, you know? You know what I'm saying? And I really miss Nil, old Nil, because he, I don't think we had long enough with him. He was so funny and interesting and I, I just want to see him again I, I don't care in whatever way like if it's in some kind of audio recording and a ghostly type of presence whatever I just miss the guy have I discovered anything new thanks to ghost um yeah throughout the whole time I've been a fan definitely um projects by the nameless ghouls and ghoulettes like all their personal endeavors i've kind of followed them and you know like some of their music their art um definitely made a lot of new friends you know i didn't think i would have such genuine online connections with certain people um definitely different types of music like it's all like just doorways to everything right new friends oh check out this band check out this thing that i do this place so really, like, Ghost is like a gateway um, to all these wonderful things that I now get to experience. Name three songs that I would like Ghost to cover. I put down I Still Believe by Tim Capello. If you guys don't know, that's like one of the main theme songs in The Lost Boys. And I know Ghost already has a song Believe, but I think a ghostly influence on that song would make that song so much more, ugh, you know, vampires and mysteriousness and 80s, you know? Um, Breaking the Chains by Dawkin, just because I like Dawkin. And False Kings by Poets of the Fall. I think that one might lend itself very well to ghost style and i'm really would be really curious to see how that would go down if you don't know poets of the fall they are a finnish pop rock band i don't really think they're too much of pop but i really adore them and i just did a react video if y'all haven't seen it i'll put a link in the description below to their new song their new album's coming out april 29th and i'm excited i really really love that band Mm. 
Let's see. If Ghost were to release an acoustic album, what songs would I want to see included? This question reminded me of a fan-generated um, zip file, some kind of collection, and even had like some fake album art. Somebody had created this, and it had like just every um, acoustic song that had been released, like on YouTube and stuff, on it. I think I found it on Reddit a long time ago. I even had downloaded the songs to my phone so I could keep it like together. But I don't know what happened to it. But I think Mariana Cross would sound really pretty acoustic. Respite on the Spitalfields probably. And uh, Cerise of course. <sighs> I'm just been in love with that one clip. I don't know where it was that Papa 3 was doing Cerise acoustic style with the ghouls. And I just like how it's very quiet. But his vocals were just like woof. Making me fall in love all over again, you know. Okay, so question 11, my favorite ghost meme. There are so many ghost memes out there. Even I've like attempted to make some, you know. I don't really have a favorite. And, and the one I was gonna like talk about, I couldn't find it to put it in the video, but it's that one where it's the highway and the car is like veering off the exit, like something you're supposed to choose, like the normal way and the car just like, just goes straight that way. I think one of the first times I saw this meme was when Rats on the Road was announced and it had that mysterious poster of Cardinal Copia, you know, with his back and it's like purple and stuff. And it says like, oh, all my bills on the, you know, the straightaway path. Tobias Forge announcing Rats on the Road. We're gonna go this way and spend all our money. I don't know, I just, that's super relatable, I think for a lot of us. And I don't know, it's, it's up there. Like, I don't really have a favorite meme, but I enjoy that one. Almost lost my sandwich. I really like, I mean, it's not overkill. Like, it tastes a little fishy because it's more real. Like, I don't know if it's exactly real, but it tastes way, like I said, way better than McDonald's. Mm. Makes me feel like I'm at the beach. <laughs> We're down to our last question for part one of the ghost fandom ask game. So what is my favorite piece of ghost merch that I own and some that I would like to own? Um, I think my favorite piece would have to be the era five, um, crucifix rosary that I got at the the gig I went to because I've never had an official one or even one in general you know so it was really special to have that piece it's I think the quality is great the beads are really pretty and the the pendants heavy duty and I think if I was gonna want anything else probably uh Papa 3's uh era crucifix or something that's dedicated to him um, I didn't pick any like shirts or anything, even though I have been wondering about a certain shirt. It was part of a VIB package back when Papa 3 was running the show. But at the same time, it's like my closet doesn't need any more ghost shirts unless it's like super, super special or like any other tours I go on, go see, you know. Um, I still need to get the Impera one, but I've been waiting until they announce the next dates because usually they'll put the album art and then the tour dates on the back. So I, won't, so I don't have a double shirt, you know what I mean? 
But yeah. Mm. Guys, this is such a good lunch. I'm so happy right now. Look at this. I love it. Mm. I told Ramsef this in his video, but I should probably do a macaroni mukbang at some point. Cause there's a certain way I like it and I'll reveal it, I guess, if I ever film that. Uh. I'm gonna take a little break because that was a lot of mac and cheese before I like get into this last bite here. It's mostly bread, pickle, and sauce. Mm. <sighs> Righty, stuff it all in. Mm. That last satisfying crunch of that pickle and the flavor, so good. Oh. Mm. Well, guys, I think that wraps up today's video. But before we go, we're gonna get Popeye's fish sandwich with mac and cheese and fries. A 10 out of 10 because I, that was surprisingly delicious. I didn't think it was gonna be that banging. Like I've had this before, but you know, sometimes places are not consistent. And so, I don't know, I'm really happy. What a great way to start my week with you guys, with this meal and doing the ass game. So guys, keep an eye out for part two, probably coming next week. Um. I know I've been working kind of behind the scenes lately. I don't want to like divulge too much info, but I don't know, just been working on doing some stuff. I'm actually um, trying to prepare for a 5K coming up in May. Uh, 5K is like a race of 3.1 miles, 3.2, somewhere around there. And I used to do these quite frequently a few years ago. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get back into it. I'm preparing for that or hoping to start preparing for that. <laughs> But yeah, if you guys want to find out anything else that I've got going on, be sure to check out my Patreon, my channel memberships. I'll be posting updates and stuff of anything that I've got going on. And I'll see y'all next time. Have a great day. Bye.